everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a full face first impressions and every product is from the drugstore. We've got Makeup Revolution, NYX, Makeup Academy and Maybelline. So if you want to get this look and see how all the different products performed then let's go ahead and just get started. Thanks! So I'm starting with clean dry skin and I moisturise with my Bobbi Brown Extra Hydrating Cream and now I'm going in with the Makeup Revolution Pro Radiant Cool Pink Primer in Radiance. Applying this to the skin, obviously you can see it left sort of a pink tinge to my skin. It did blur out some of my imperfections and it left quite a sticky base for the makeup to be applied to. So I'm just rubbing this all in with my fingertips, making sure it's applied all over. Next we're going in with the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation in shade F10. The doe for applicator here is really nice, you can get quite a good amount of product on the skin with it. The only thing that I don't really like is the fact that you put the doe for applicator on your face and then back into the bottle so it could be spreading some germs. And then I'm going to go in with a damp beauty blender and blend all of this out. This was a point where I noticed that the primer was drying quite tacky and the makeup was sticking to it really well. The foundation, as you can see, is a little bit dark on my face but it does match my self tan. It applied really nicely, blended out really, really well and I wouldn't say it was totally full coverage, I would say it was more medium to full coverage. I do have quite a lot of um, acne scarring and pigmentation on my cheeks and it did cover it quite well but not perfectly. I'm just making sure this is blended in everywhere, going over my eyelids and bringing it down on my neck. Next I'm going in with the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Concealer and Contour and this is in shade C7. Just applying it in a triangular shape underneath my eyes just to brighten the area. Again, using my damp beauty blender to blend all of this in. The concealer did blend out really well. Uh, a lot of research on the internet said it was a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape. I haven't used that concealer yet, um, but this is a good concealer. I wouldn't again say that it was full coverage. I would say it was maybe a medium coverage, but it's definitely buildable. It sat really nicely under my eye and on top of the foundation, all blended in really well. And I'm taking the same concealer in a triangular motion between my eyebrows, along the bridge of my nose, on my cupid's bow and on my chin. And this is just to brighten and highlight the areas of my face. And again with my damp beauty blender, just blending all of this in. Next I'm going in again with the Makeup Revolution Pro Full Coverage Camouflage Concealer again in shade C7 and I am just spot concealing any blemishes that are still peeking through the foundation just with a small concealer brush. I will say that I thought this concealer was a lot better than the Conceal and Define Concealer. I thought it covered more so next time I'll probably try this under my eye. And now we're moving on to brows. I am just using my Anastasia Brow Wiz spoolie here, but then I'm going in with the Makeup Revolution Brow Pomade in medium brown. I do have the Anastasia Brow Pomade, and I do think this is actually a really good dupe for it. The consistency is the same, it's really easy to work with, it's blendable, and they do have a really good range of colours. You do get quite a lot of product for your money as well. And as you can see, I am just filling in and adding a bit more definition to my brows. I am lucky to have quite a full brow naturally, so I don't take a lot of work to gain a, a, a nice brow shape. Here, I'm just going in with my Body Shop Brow Brush and just 
filling everything in, making sure that it's all looking good. And then just giving it another brush through with my spoolie just to blend everything in and make sure that I've not missed any patches. Then repeating the same on the next side and I'm just going to speed this up as you guys don't need to see me do both. Next we're on to eyes, so I'm just taking the palest shade which is Diversion from a Makeup Academy palette and I'm just applying this all over my eyelids with a fluffy brush just to ensure that everything is set and we have a nice even base to work with. Just going backwards and forwards and then I'm going in with another Makeup Academy palette with the shade Amber June and just taking a large fluffy crease brush and in windshield wipe immersions just blending this in as our transition shade. I will say that even though there was a lot of choice of shadows at the drugstore there isn't a lot with pigment. Makeup Academy do these really great palettes where you get 12 shades and they work out at £6 so it's about 50 pence a shade. They aren't, some of them aren't great for pigment but a lot of them are quite good. The only problem with the palettes are nearly all of the shades are shimmer shades. So if you don't like shimmers then this one is not for you. The next shade I'm taking is again from a Makeup Academy palette and this is shade Bedrock and I'm just taking this with a smaller fluffy crease brush and just blending it into the outer corners of my eye and not taking it as high up into my crease. And then I'm going back with the original fluffy brush with no extra product and just blending all these edges out. As you can see on the other eye, I'm repeating the same process with the shade Bedrock from the Heaven and Earth palette and just keeping it towards the outer corner and lower in the crease, backwards and forwards in windshield wiper motions. This is sort of a nice purpley grey shade. It's not showing up great on camera of what exact shade it is, but it is a sort of an aubergine uh, grey. Just making sure that this is really well blended. Blending here is the key as drugstore shadows can be quite choppy. And then lastly, going back in with that same fluffy brush from the start and blending this out. I'm then taking the shade Wink from the Undress Me 2 palette by Makeup Academy and just taking a flat shader brush and just applying this on the inner and middle part of the lid. This is sort of a mink shimmer shade, quite metallic and it's blending in really nicely. For the price, these Makeup Academy eyeshadow palettes are really, really good quality. Um, they could do to be a bit stronger on the pigment but you could just wet your brush with a bit of setting spray or a bit of Fix Plus and it will make the shadows pop a little bit more. So repeating the same process on the other side, just flat shader brush and just keeping it in the inner to middle part of the base. Just making sure that everything is really well blended and just packing on the product to give off the full metallic effect. Then we're going back in with the Heaven and Earth palette and we're taking the shade Valley which is a slightly darker purple shimmer and we're taking a more dense fluffy brush and just deepening up the outer corner. Just applying it in sort of a triangular motion um, on the outer side of the eye and repeating on the same side on the other eye. We're not dragging this one as far in as we did with the first darker shade and just making sure that everything is really well blended together. 
don't worry too much everything can be cleaned up at the edges and then we are to go back in with the fluffy brush with a bit of the transition color on and going backwards and forwards to make sure this is really well blended I am then taking the second fluffy crease brush and just blending the two colours together on my lid just to get rid of any harsh lines and then going back in with my beauty blender just to clean up the edges of my shadow make sure that nothing's fallen and then we are going in with the black shade that's in the undress me too palette and we are just using a dense pencil brush and just applying this along the lower uh, on along the upper lash line sorry and the upper waterline just to give the lashes a fuller effect and just to deepen this look up a little bit and make it a little bit more smirky it doesn't look like it's the most comfortable thing to do but once you've done this a few times you get used to it and just cleaning up anything that has gone onto the lower waterline. Next, I am taking the Makeup Revolution, the Liner Revolution, which is just a felt tip liner in black. This is a really good um, drugstore liner. It has a lot of pigment, um, really easy to work with. The felt tip end is quite flexible and comes into a point. So here I'm just drawing on a wing unfortunately I need to get quite close to the mirror to do this so you don't see a great deal here but I'm just doing a small simple wing so next I'm going in with the makeup revolution London the mascara revolution in black this is a really good mascara it has quite a fat brush the only thing that I could say is it is a little bit of a wet mascara when you first get it so it's probably one of those that once it's been used a couple of times it is really good but first it does make your lashes quite clumped so I'm just giving my upper lashes a good coat of mascara and prepping them for eyelashes which I am going to do off camera but the eyelashes that I did use are the Eyelot Lux Cameo Lashes um, in Mink Effect so once I've applied my lashes I'm going back in with the the liner revolution eyeliner and just touching up my wing liner and that just blends the uh, false lash band in I will say that these eyelor Lux lashes are great lashes they're a really good alternative or dupe for house of lashes mink lashes and they're about a third of the price these retail at 9.99 which for the price is great then next I'm going in with a pencil brush and the shade mixed together of Bedrock and Valley from the Makeup Academy palette and I'm just going along my lower lash, lash line with these colours just blending it all in and making sure that I've dragged it down far enough I'm then going to take a fluffy brush and just some of the transition shade which is amber june and just blend this out slightly to make sure again that there is no harsh lines and just ensuring that it is joined up with my upper lid colors i'm then going to go in with a just a fluffy face brush which is the bare minerals full flawless face just to brush off any fallout and blend in any powder Next, I am taking the Makeup Revolution, the Skin Finish Warm Glow. I found it quite hard to find a bronzer from Makeup Revolution and the Makeup Academy that wasn't sort of shimmery or that didn't come in a big set of a contour palette, which wasn't what I was looking for. I was looking for just a bronzer. This does look ultra shimmery and warm and orange in the uh, packaging, but I will say once applied to the skin, it does give a really nice just warm glow and I'm just brushing this onto my cheeks in place of a blush onto my forehead my temples and just blending it into my neck just to make sure that everything is blended in and my colors all match and then I'm just putting a bit on my nose and on my chin I'm then going in with the um, MAC brush 
it just came in a set it's a mac 287 and i'm just taking some of that warm bronzer again and just contouring my nose just down the sides of my nose across the bottom and down the sides of my nostrils just making sure that this is really well blended in and again back with the bare minerals full flawless face brush and just blend in everything in again just making sure that there's no harsh lines so my next product that i'm going to take again is from makeup revolution and it's the liquid highlighter in liquid champagne this is actually a really good dupe for the cover fx um drops and I found this really nice to work with. I do also have the Cover FX drops. I will say that this is a little bit chunkier to blend in, but it does give the same effect once finished. And I'm just blending this in with a MAC 159 brush, which I use as my highlighter brush. But I just applied two drops to each of my cheekbones at the highest points, and then two drops one on the tip of my nose and one on the bridge of my nose and I'm just blending this in really well and making sure that all the harsh edges have disappeared this gives a lovely sort of silvery champagne color it's more on the silver champagne than the girl champagne and then I'm just taking my beauty blender and just blending this in further. I find that using my beauty blender on top of my highlight just makes sure everything is melted into the skin. Next, I'm just intensifying my highlight by taking the Nip and Fab highlight palette and the color Rose Gold with the same MAC highlighter brush and just applying this again on the high points of my cheekbones, on the tip and the bridge of my nose and hitting my cupid spur just to intensify the highlight on my lip as well just making sure that this is really well blended in another good tip for making sure your highlight stands out is taking a bit of your setting spray or fix plus and just dampening your brush before applying your highlight and this just makes sure that it really glows I'm then taking the same rose gold highlight from the Nip and Fab palette and using this as my brow burn highlight and I'm just applying this on the highest points right underneath the arch of my eyebrow and this just finishes off the eye look. I'm also going to take a small amount of the same colour and just use this as my inner corner highlight and this just brightens up and opens the eyes and gives it a good pop. And then just going back in with my highlight brush and just giving this one final blend over and then I'm just taking a plain stippling brush and just blending all of my cheek products in together making sure that this is really well blended that there's no harsh edges and just going all over my face and my forehead bringing it down on my neck next I'm going in with my NYX um, lip pencil in colour 01 natural and just lining my lips this is a retractable lip pencil and it's actually a really really good colour match for my lip colour it just defines them really nicely and I am then going to go in with the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour colour in the colour 760 pink spice at the moment this is my favorite lip product to use i was recommended this by um a friend and she said that it really does stay and i will also testify to that i've worn this for about 12 hours including eating and drinking and it has stayed on really well this is a two-step color so you apply the color you wait for it to dry and then you apply the clear end but because i'm going to use a gloss today i skip the clear end step so the gloss that I'm using today is the NYX buttercream gloss in shade creme brulee and I'm just going to apply this over the top of the Maybelline colour just to give it a shine and just to make the lips appear more full I'm just going to apply this all over and it'll also just lighten up the colour a bit as this is more of a pink brown and the NYX gloss is more of a pale nude pink just going to give this a really good coat and then 
rub my lips together to blend it all in. Then just to add a final finishing touch, I'm going to go in with some of the Nip and Fab Highlighting Powder in Rose Gold and I'm just going to dab this in the centre of my top lip and the centre of my lower lip again and just rub my lips together just to blend this in again and that's everything guys. Hey guys, so thanks for making it to the end of this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed the look. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe.